how do you find the vertex of a parabola given its equation? Well, there's three different forms that the equation could be in. There's standard form, which has no brackets at all. Factored form, which often has two sets of brackets multiplied by each other, and sometimes there's an extra number out front. And there's vertex form, which has the x with something added or subtracted, then that's all squared. There's often a number out front and something added or subtracted from the end. You'll have to be able to identify which of these types you have before you find the vertex, because the method to find the vertex depends on which one you have. For example, if you have vertex form, I have a treat for you. The vertex is basically given to you. The vertex from vertex form is taking the number that's added or subtracted from x in brackets and flipping its sign. That x-coordinate is negative 1 in this case because it was positive 1 inside the bracket. The y-coordinate of the vertex is the number that was added or subtracted from the end as is. The trickiest thing for kids to remember is that the sign here flips and the sign here stays the same. But the vertex is just straight up negative 1, comma 50. And if you do enough of these questions, you'll just see it instantly. Now, to find it from standard form requires a little more finesse. There's a shortcut I can give you x of the x coordinate of the vertex, or the axis of symmetry, is negative b over 2a. Now to understand that, you have to know that the a value is the number in front of x squared, the b is the number in front of x, and the c is the number at the very end without any x's on it. Now I know c isn't here, but you'll probably end up seeing it later in your course or whatever. So my b is positive 4. See, it says plus 4. So my b that goes in here is negative 4. Notice the negative here was in the formula. Next, we have 2 times a. That's 2 times 2. And so I end up with negative 4 divided by 4 which is negative 1 on my calculator. Now that's just the x-coordinate of the vertex. We're going to have to find the actual y-coordinate, and we can get that by plugging this x-value that you just found in for both of the x's here. 2 times negative 1 squared plus 4 times negative 1 minus 48. See? 2x squared plus 4x minus 48, except all the x's are negative 1 because x equals negative 1. Now, negative 1 squared is positive 1 because when you multiply a negative by itself, it becomes positive. That gives me positive 2 here in the end. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and negative 48 is negative 48. And when you put all these together, you end up with uh, negative 50. Nice. Now, I think I tried to rig these to be the same, but I made a mistake. Sucks to be me. The vertex here is the x value that you found, negative 1, comma, the y value you found. This one's negative 50. See, I told you I made a mistake. I tried to make those the same, and they were not. Oh, well, we still have another form to do. Factored form. What does factored form even tell you? Factored form tells you the x-intercepts. You usually don't have to write this for yourself, but I'm going to. The factors, when they themselves are zero, make the whole thing zero. That's what makes something an x-intercept. You probably don't care about that. What you care about is how to get the numbers. You set this whole thing equal to zero, and then you solve for x. What minus four gives you zero? Well, four minus four equals zero. See how the negative four became positive four? And what plus six gives you zero? The answer is negative six. See how you flip the sign there as well? 
lots of people that I teach like to understand where that comes from, it's because four minus four gives you zero. But other students I teach are just like, I don't care. Flip the sign, flip the sign, done. What matters after you get the x-intercepts is that the axis of symmetry or the x-coordinate of the vertex is x1 plus x2 divided by two. It's actually the average of the two x-intercepts. Four plus negative six divided by two. Four plus negative six is negative two. And when you divide that by two, it gives you negative one. What do you do with that? The same thing you did for standard form, you plug it into the equation. Y equals two times X minus four. Now X is negative one minus four. X plus six is negative one plus six. Do the math. Two times negative five times positive five, this gives me negative 50. The vertex of this one is also the x that you got and the y that you got. Love it. So look at that. I got almost the same vertex for all of them, even though they looked very different. That's not the point though. The point is you have to know what form you're in before you find the vertex. Vertex form, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Standard form, also pretty easy if you know this shortcut for the axis of symmetry. Some teachers want you to complete the square. If your teacher wants that, go find another video. Take that x value, plug it in, and get the y. Factored form is similar. Find your x-intercepts, average them together to get your x. Plug it into the equation to get your y. Also done. Best of luck.